Is anyone going to stop Jimmy Johnson? Someone will have to, or he's going to go all the way. Again, welcome to your NASCAR report. It's getting exciting. It's been exciting. It's getting even more exciting. Welcome to you. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Pete Pistoni, our NASCAR reporter, in on all the action. Joining us now, Pete, chase race number six set for Martinsville. There will be some changes, starting with the struggling Richard Childress racing team. Yeah, RC told us in Charlotte last weekend, Lauren, he was going to make some changes, and he followed through on that. Todd Barrier will move over to be the crew chief for Jeff Burton, and Doug Randolph will be the crew chief for the 07 of Casey Mears. Now, that won't happen until after Martinsville, but maybe the bigger story there is the 07 of Casey Mears. They don't have sponsorship for that team for 2010, and Richard Childress said unless they can find some backing, he may shrink it down to three teams next year, so we'll have to see. So Casey Mears in these final five races – Pretty much driving for his life there at Richard Childress Racing. Wow, so it's kind of a question mark. Speaking of crew chief changes, any word on the on the future of Lance McGrew and Dale Earnhardt Jr., Pete? Well, you know, it's amazing to me that this saga keeps going on. You know, Dale Jr. over the weekend in Charlotte, Lauren was very upset about things, told us he didn't know which way to turn, didn't know whether he should talk to Rick Hendrick or someone else within the organization. A couple of weeks ago, I would have told you it was a slam dunk that Lance McGrew would be back as the crew chief for that team. Now I'm not so sure. Who Rick Hendrick's going to put on top of the pit box, though, is the big question because right now, I've got to be honest with you, the bench is kind of thin there at Hendrick Motorsports. So it's something to watch. I know Lance McGrew will be there, I think, for the rest of this year. And whether he's back for 2010, I think, will depend on how the final five races go for that 88 team, which continues to struggle. We're talking about a lot of question marks, a lot of changes, perhaps the biggest of them all, the debut of double file restarts. How do you think it'll affect the, the race this weekend, Pete? I think of all the tracks that we've gone to, the double file restarts will have the biggest impact at Martinsville this weekend, Lauren. It's the smallest track we go to all year. It's tiny, 0.525 miles around. And when you stack these cars up side by side, when we go back to green flag racing, I think you're going to see this thing really have an effect on not just the race outcome, but maybe the championship chase. You know, Jimmy Johnson's been bulletproof there, but we've seen before, if you have a little bit of a bobble, you could drop down one or two laps, and it's very difficult to make up that ground there. Conversely, if Johnson has a good day and some of the guys chasing him have the trouble, the, the lead becomes even bigger. So double file restarts to me really going to be the story, I think, to really run things out here on Sunday at the, uh, the race in Martinsville. You mentioned Johnson has been bulletproof, has won five of his last six races at Martinsville, six in all in his career. Is it safe to say the 48 team is by far the favorite this weekend? I think it, he definitely has to be. Uh, Jeff Gordon, though, has got to be in the team picture. Between the two of them, Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon have won 13 times at Martinsville. Neither of them have finished outside the top 10 there since way back in 2002. So certainly I think it's going to be the 48 and 24 to watch. But Denny Hamlin's the dark horse. He's won there before. He's the Virginia native, loves the flat tracks. He could be the guy that spoils things. But really and truly, again, I'll go back to it. Watch those double file restarts. If everyone's saying Talladega is going to be the wild card when we go there next weekend, Lauren, I think Martinsville is going to be a pretty big wild card itself. That is where all the excitement is, right? This is where all the excitement is when it comes to the chase. CBSSports.com for Pete Pistoni. I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk real soon.